Right, now we've got a bit pitch, we'll have a look at some of the features. Um, it's not a particularly large tent, that's how it gets the such light size, but it does, is a, is a um, sink double wall tent with an inner tent and a fly, and there is, the fly doesn't appear to touch the tent. There is not a lot of, not a lot of headroom, um, and, but, or, or shoulder room and things like that. Um, it'll be interesting to see when I get my pad in here how much there is. Um, it's a trekking pole tent, so it uses a pole at this end and a pole down at the foot end to give you a bit more room. Uh, the, there's door rolls up and there's a vent down at this this end here for a bit of ventilation so um, we'll see how it goes right with my um, air mattress inflated um, we can see how much room there is so down at the foot end there's oh, hand width before the end though it tapers quite narrowly in my thing and up at the head end there pretty much pretty much fills it um, but you know it's a small small tent so uh, right um, now with my thing inflated me there's a reason on the headroom here um, there's not much shoulder room as you can see when I lie down I'm pretty much touching the the mesh of the the tent. It's a snug fit. Uh, overall, there's a bit of um, condensation on my uh, quilt, but there's um, apart from that, it's held up fine. Yeah, first night out, um, or first night use. I think it's perfectly acceptable sort of ultralight shelter for for very little money. So, it's, um, as you can see, there's a bit of condensation on the um, yeah, where the tent's touching the inner. I think the reason for the condensation is it's quite a small tent and. The vents aren't super large, so, but, it's, um, yeah, not a bad wee shelter. Um, it's not seam sealed, so I'll have to do that, and you can't pitch the inner and the outer together. You've got to pitch the inner first, and then put the fly on top. But for $100, um, I can't complain. It's a perfectly adequate shelter for when I'm trying to get my um, pack very light.